Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL E4 which has to do with equations of lines. More specifically with the slope intercept form of the equation of a line uh, that we'll see most of the time here. So you get a series of questions and they all might be asked differently. So right here we have more of a sentence. They give you a point and a slope. Some will give you a graph. Um, but so this question is saying a line that includes the point negative four comma two has a slope of negative one half. What is the equation in slope intercept form? So what I'll do is I'll take this problem and remember what slope intercept form is. Slope intercept form for the equation of a line is going to be y equals mx plus b. Remember, the equation of a line is going to be y equals mx plus b in the slope-intercept form. Okay? So, from here, you know that m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So, let's start with the slope. The slope is going to be negative one-half. Okay? And do we have a b here? Do we have a y-intercept? No, we don't, so we're just going to drag that down. Now, what we can do is we can take our point here, or I'm sorry, our point here, and we can now plug this into our formula to get b, because every point that is given to us is going to lie somewhere on the line, meaning we can plug this point in here, and it'll always give us the same b no matter uh, what set of coordinates we plug in if they are on the line. So negative four is gonna be our x and two is gonna be our y as you'd expect. So we're gonna do two equals negative one half times negative four plus b. All right, now we just solve for it. So we're gonna go two equals negative one half times negative four is a positive two and then plus b. Now to get b by itself, we want to subtract 2 both sides. Okay, so all we're left with is b equals 0. So our y equals mx plus b, we're not going to have a b, it's just going to be y equals mx, meaning it's going to be y equals negative 1 half x. And that's going to be our slope intercept. We don't have to write the plus 0. So we'll do y equals negative one half x. And make sure you remember to put in all of the variables. Don't forget the negative, don't forget the x. You have to put every single thing in. Good. Uh, a line slope is one and its y-intercept is eight. So what is the equation in slope-intercept form? So this is an easier version of the last problem because we know that the equation is y equals mx plus b. Okay, and we need to find m and b. Once we find m and b, we are done. So m is the slope, and it says the slope is 1, so we can do 1. Now remember, 1x is the same as just x, so we don't have to put the 1 there. It's unnecessary, so y equals x. And then b is the y-intercept, and they give us the y-intercept is negative 8. So we'll do x minus, or yeah, minus 8. So plus a negative 8 is just minus 8, and that's going to be it. The line includes these two points. What is the equation in point slope form, okay? So point slope form is not going to be y equals mx plus b. Uh, as the name implies for point slope, it's the version of the equation that we have the uh, uh, um, points listed out in the equation and then also the slope. So what that looks like is we have y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. Okay, which seems long, but the easiest way to remember this is if you divided both sides by x2 minus x1, like this. You're left with m equals rise over run, right? M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's just the uh, equation for slope. So you can think of it that way. It's not like they're pulling these numbers out of nowhere. Um, 
it's just the slope equation, so don't worry too much about that. Okay, um, and so this is going to be point slope form, and we're just going to plug in our two points and figure out what our slope is from here. So we'll plug in, let's see, we'll make the first coordinate x1 comma y1, and then x2 comma y2. Okay, so y2 is going to be negative 8 minus 1 equals m, our missing slope, is x2, which is 7, minus x1, which is 10. Okay, negative 8 minus 1 is negative 9 equals m minus, or multiplied, 7 minus 10 is a negative 3, so just negative 3, okay. Now to get m by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So negative 9 over negative 3 is just 3. Positive 3, right? Equals m. So our slope is 3. Okay, now we're just going to plug that into our original equation. Of y2 minus... And here we're actually going to plug in our first point. So we'll do... Uh, y1 is 1 equals 3 and then x2 minus and then our x1 is going to be 10. Okay and so that is what we're going to do and I should also note that since there's only going to be one y and one x here uh, we don't have to put the two so really what our answer is going to look like is y minus 1 equals 3 times x minus 10. And that's going to be the, the best way to write out the slope point form. So it's going to be y minus 1, y minus 1 equals 3 times x and it was x minus 10 and there we go okay a lot of work but in the end you do get the right answer so here's another problem where they give you the points uh, this time it's going to be in slope intercept form so um, even though it's asking for a slope intercept form I would encourage you to use basically the same format. Now keep in mind you don't have to write the actual slope intercept form out. You can just find the slope. So m equals, and what does m equal? Change in y over change in x. Or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Right? So I'll find the slope first. Uh, and We'll do x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. So y2 is going to be 6 minus y1, which is 9, all over x2, which is 0, equals x1, which is 3. So 6 minus 9 is negative 3. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 over negative 3 is just 1. So m equals 1, uh, meaning our equation is going to be Again, in slope-intercept form, right, y equals mx plus b. So we'll have y equals 1x, or just x, plus b. Our b is our y-intercept, and we know it's the point where the line intersects on the y-axis. Now, looking at our points, we're very lucky because they gave us the point where it intersects on the y-axis, right? 0, comma 6, if we go over here. 0 comma 6 is going to be like right here. We'll say it's right there. And that's where the line would intersect on the y-axis, right? So it's going to be something like that. So they already give us our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is right there at 6. So it's going to be just x plus 6. So our equation is y equals x plus 6. y equals x plus 6. And there we go. Okay, a line passes uh, a line with a slope of negative one over four passes through the point this, where's the equation in point slope form. 
Okay, so they give us the slope and they give us the point. So this one is very easy. We don't have to do any sort of formula. We more just have to plug in the equation. Okay, so um, again, the equation is going to be y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. Again, this is point slope form, not slope intercept. So um, we'll do y2 minus our y1 is going to be just 1 right here. So 1 equals our slope is negative 1 over 4. And then x2 minus x1 is going to be 5. Okay, now remember we don't have uh, any other x's or y's in the formula, so we're going to drop the 2's. So the final equation is just going to be y minus 1 equals 1 over 4 times x minus 5. Like that. Okay, so we have y minus 1, y minus 1 equals negative 1 over 4 times x minus 5, x minus 5. And there we go. Cool. Okay, it gives you the slope, gives you another point. I'll leave that alone. Uh, points this and this, slope intercept form. Same deal, you're just going to find the slope first. Change of y over change of x. Okay, and they give you this, the y intercept here. So zero. Okay, and that's going to be it. So study hard, and I'll see you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.